Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I've got 28 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items that I have picked up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, YouTube auctions, and Facebook marketplace. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. These items all sold on eBay and they all sold for $35 or less. So I call those my bread and butter bolos, items that are easier to find that I pick up really cheap typically that sell for a good profit. All right, you guys, let's get started. Feel free to put any questions you guys have down in the comments. And here is the first item. It is a vintage Ensco donkey figurine. And I put nativity in there just because it was kind of small that it could probably be used in a nativity set. Um, I don't think that it was actually cracked through. I think that's just like crackling in the paint, but I always, always show in the photos, any defects, um, or issues, potential issues. And then I usually use this tape measure. I like it because it's metal and it holds better. I do have one of the sewing ones that I use from time to time, but you know, when you're going up and down like this, it just, it doesn't work as well. Um, also right here on the ear, the same issue. So I just try to be as um, descriptive with my photos as I, positive, as I possibly can here. All right, let's see. I just sold something. Oh, it's no fun. It's just a pair of shoes. <laughs> All right, let's look at the next one. Um, this is a Jimmy animated musical, Would You Be Mine? He's a dancing lumberjack, you guys. I got him at a thrift store for $4 and I sold him for $16. The buyer was all in for $27.02. And I just realized that I did not tell you guys any information on this because I was talking about the photos. Um, I got this at a garage sale for $1. It sold for $15 and the buyer was all in for $20.95. The next item I sold is this retired Boyd's special delivery little, um, is it a stork? I think they're called storks. Um, I sold this for $10.07. The buyer was all in for $21.67. This has been a very, very long tail item. I am a list it and forget it type of reseller. I just list it and forget about it. And um, I bought a whole bunch of Boyd's from a garage sale. It's probably been three, maybe three years ago. Um, some of them sold very quickly. Some of them have been very long tail, but um, my cost of goods was probably a dollar or less and I have made a ton of money on them. So I probably want to say that I have 10 or so left and I probably got, I don't know, 40, 50 of them. I bought her entire collection. So what I say about Boyd's Bear Plush is I will pick them up if I can get them cheap. And um, they're are certain ones that are big money right now. And I have a video on it. They're the Boyd's minis, but it's not all of the Boyd's minis. So go check out that video. Some of those are going for 50 to $150. It just depends on um, which one it is. So go check out that video. And um, the last I looked, they were still trending, but do your research and don't overpay for them. Okay. Make sure you've got the right ones because they're not all created equal. Some of them are bread and butter, 10, 15 bucks. Okay. The next item is another one from that same sale, I do believe. And I ended up selling this best offer of $18 and the buyer was all in for uh, 21, or I'm sorry, $30 and 43 cents. This one was a lot bigger. And this is the Boyd's Bear Muffin Bee Blueberry. Um, typically they have a tag on them, as you can see right here. Um, that always helps if they have the tag. I still mark them as pre-owned even if they have the tag. But on the tag, it will have the information that you need, the name of the bear. I put that in the title. Sometimes I put the style in the title. It just kind of depends. But both of those are good things to use. The next item I sold is this vintage Fisher-Price Nativity Joseph figurine from 2004. I got this at a garage sale. And I sold it for a best offer of $11. The buyer was all in for $17.20. And he sold pretty quick, guys. I've sold two Josephs and they've both sold really quick. Um, I had two sets of these. One had been sitting for a long time and suddenly sold. Um, it was actually the newer listing that sold quicker. And then this is the one that's been sitting forever and then it just sold. So I don't know um, why these got picked up in the algorithm, but both of them sold recently. 
This one sold for $16. The buyer was all in for $22.79 and I got those at a garage sale for 50 cents. The little bottle will come out of its mouth and so will the pacifier. Oh, they are the calico critters. They're the Sylvanian families. So they're the older ones and they're flocked, you guys. So they're pretty cool. Uh, girly Thanksgiving, girly, girly, sorry, girly Thanksgiving holiday pilgrim candles. Um, I pick up this brand of candles whenever I see it. This is what it looks like on the bottom. And I got these uh, out of a mystery box. A, I believe it was a Halloween mystery box. And I sold these for $11. The buyer was all in for $16.90. And it was a thrift store mystery box. This came from a garage sale. It's a Radica fishing, um, electronic fishing game. And it's from 1997. So it is vintage. I paid $2 for it. And the buyer was all in for $14.40. I'm sorry, they paid $14.40 and we're all in for $23.11. Um, Radica, some of the games can do really, really good. I just recently sold a solitary game, but it was new in the package for, I think it was almost $40 and it sold super quick. So definitely look these things up. I didn't look this one up. I probably, I, I usually don't pay $2 for stuff like this. I usually pay around a dollar. So um had I have looked it up, I probably maybe wouldn't have got it. I mean, I still did pretty good. I mean, two bucks into 1440 is not bad at all, but um, I don't know. <laughs> the next item I picked up are these Shopkins and I messed up on this one, you guys. Um, I ended up putting these on auction, hoping I would get like a little bidding war going and I didn't. And they sold for $34.99. The buyer was all in for $54.41. What I should have done the is sold these in lots of either 50 or lots of 25, and I could have made more money on that. I've done that in the past, but I was being lazy and I just lotted them all up. So um, a little tip there. Uh, vintage California raisins from 1988, these little figures. And I sold these for best offer of 10. The buyer was all in for 1707, and I got these at a thrift store for $1. The next item is this Carlton Cards ornament. It is a Betty Boop on a motorcycle. I got her out of a Christmas thrift store mystery box and I sold her for $25. The buyer was all in for $33.68 and she is from 2003. Um, I recommend that you guys look up um, ornaments, especially even if they're dated, people are still looking for them. You guys, they will still buy them and they will pay up for them. So um definitely do your research. Some of them can go for really big money and some of them go for 10, 15 bucks. So here's another item. It's a vintage dangle rhinestone brooch. I think it's handmade, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. That's why I put a question mark in the title. Probably not the best practice, but I didn't know what to do. So, um, I sold this for $17. The buyer was all in for 23 82. The next item is this Lucky the Leprechaun Breakfast Babies 1997. It's a Lucky Charms cereal guy. And he's a little plush. I got him at a estate sale for 50 cents. He sold for $12 and the buyer was all in for $18.88. The next item are these Hello Kitty Pez dispensers and McDonald's toys. I got these out of a mystery toy box from a thrift store. Sold these for $14. The buyer was all in for $22.74. The next item is this Disney store um, fairy godmother from Cinderella. She's plush and plastic. And she see that right there, that little snag. She's got some issues. So I did not get as much as I could have for her. Um, this, the sell through rate was good on this and the prices were good. But again, I listed mine a little lower because um, she had those issues. She sold for $20. That was my sale price. And the buyer was all in for $29.06. The next item is this Monster High doll. And you guys can see her hair is pretty crazy. And, you know, she's got no clothes. And she still sold for $13.59. And the buyer was all in for $19.54. I had no idea who she was. So I put Monster High doll Mattel. I can't even believe it sold with that title. The next item is this Imagine X DC Super Friends The Joker Surprise Vehicle. It is the vehicle only. It doesn't have the bullets, no figures. Just the vehicle, got this in a mystery toy box. I almost just donated it back and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it. And I sold it for $10, the buyer was all in for $17.45. The next item is this inflatable bump pregnancy bed raft. Um, I got this at a thrift store, I paid $3 for it. I almost didn't pick it up because it looked like it was like out of a pallet and I 
tend to stay away from palette stuff, but I was like, $3, I think I can sell this. And it sold pretty quickly for a best offer of 30. The buyer was all in for 46.11. So there wasn't like a brand name on it or anything. The next item is this Crybaby's Magic Tears house and looked like somebody unboxed it, realized they already had it. So they left everything else still in the packaging. Um, and this came out of a mystery toy box from a thrift store and I sold this for $20. The buyer was all in for $29.01 and I, or I'm sorry, $29.21. And I believe this was an international sale. The next item is this Lindsay Matchbox Series Taxi. And I just thought, I know it's a mess, but I just want to try and sell it. And you guys, it sold. I sold this for a best offer of $11. The buyer was all in for $17.27. And I think this just came out of a toy box. The next item is this My Little Pony. Uh, it's mini, it's like a mini pinky pie three inch mini figure. You guys, I got this at the dollar store. Um, I was trying to do some retail arbitrage from the dollar store. I see people do it all the time and some people are very successful with it. Me, not so much, but I did get like, I don't know, five, six of these and I'm almost sold out. Now, retail arbitrage, the margins are not as high. I paid a dollar for it. I sold it for $7.18 and the buyer was all in for $13.31. But I can say that I did it and I'm super excited about that. Disney Sophia the First Cake Toppers. Um, I got these out of a thrift store mystery box. Uh, sold them for $16. Uh, they didn't even make me an offer. Just bought it for $16 and they were all in for $22.64. The next item that sold is this Loving Family Dollhouse Rocking Chair. This came out of a mystery toy box from YouTube channel Auctions for You. I do have the complete and entire unboxing over on, nope, it's on this channel. If you guys want to check that out, it was stacked full of toys and I paid $100 for it. So go check that out. And if you guys need inventory, I have um, Donatella Bottolino and Auctions for You. They're linked down below. Um, I buy inventory from them through YouTube. So it's a great way to source you guys. Um, I've made a ton of money doing it and I've got lots of unboxings on my channel if you would like to check that out before you take the plunge. Uh, the next item is this Big Hero 6. It is a replacement fist, you guys. It's just a body part of an action figure. Um, that, I can't remember if I got, I think I got it in a mystery box and it was broken. And I'm like, I wonder if I can sell the hand this because it's like a bullet it shoots out and i'm like i'm gonna try it you guys it sold for 13 dollars 50 the buyer was all in for 19 dollars 97 cents for that the next are these vintage walt disney productions cake plates you guys these are plates and i got these out of a mystery box um, from a thrift store i sold these for 19 dollars. the buyer was all in for 27.35 this came from a garage sale. It was a bulk lot of plush and this was thrown in there. She had an issue here and her shoe was missing something. She had some discoloration where she had gotten wet and her dress has faded onto her body. And I was like, you know what? I just want to sell this thing and I want to sell it fast. And you guys, I did. It sold so fast. Um, so my cost of goods was about 50 cents. And it sold for a best offer of $11. The buyer was all in for $29.97. I have no idea. I can't believe it sold so fast with that many issues, but it did. The next item, I cannot believe this sold either. I cannot believe that I sourced this. Um, it's a vintage, it is Atlantic mold. I think that's why I sourced it, but it's a winking bunny holding an egg. And look at the eyelashes, you guys. I don't know. It's... It's really bad. I, I don't know, but somebody bought it. So I guess I'm happy it's going to a new home. I got this at a thrift store and I even paid $2.75 for it. Uh, the buyer was um, paid 20, took a best offer of 20 and they were all in for 33.66. So let me know in the comments, would you have bought this bunny? You guys, it's, it's not even well-made or well done. I shouldn't say that, but it's not, it's bad. It's so bad. Look at the eyelashes over there. Oh my gosh. I can't take it. Look at that. <gasps> Let me know in the comments, would you have sourced the Easter bunny? And the last item also sold really quick. It's from, um, I got it at an estate sale with a bunch of calico critter stuff. These are just some miscellaneous outfits, clothing items. And I sold these for a best offer of 15. The buyer was all in for 21.36. And my cost of goods there was about 25 cents. 
All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out some of my other Bolo videos. That's what my channel is about. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. I do also have a video series on items not to buy. Um, what I did is I popped up a, um, a post in my Facebook group and I invited people to share items that they have had removed by eBay or items that got them suspended on eBay. I figured that I would rather hear from people that are actually having issues with particular items than to go look at a Vero list that is like endless and who really knows, right? So these are firsthand experiences from other resellers and that is on my channel, just search Vero. And thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And there's gonna be some videos popping up and a subscribe button down here. If you guys like the video, oh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please do that. And let me know in the comments how you found the channel, whether you're new or old, just let me know how you found the channel. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here and thanks for watching.